Hello guys, this video we will talk about a bullet graph. A bullet graph is a graph that pack with so many information in such small space. It's one of the graphs that you could find it in dashboard all the time because it is it used so less space but it has so much information to tell. So let's take a look at uh, the anatomy of the bullet graph first. Take a look here. This is a bullet graph with the explanations. Uh, so uh, the top bar here is the scale. Okay, it's a typical scale that all the bullets here are sharing. And the second one, the range, you can see that this is the dark blue, the mediums, and the light blue. These are the range. Yeah. Exactly, it's used the same qualitative scales, but it's uh, divided into range to tell us that well, the first range is poor, okay? The second one is quite okay. And the third one here, the light blue is, is a good range, okay? So if our, if our performance fall into this area, it's good, right? And the area are uh, different in, in, in different categories. Okay, so we have three series here, alpha, beta, and gamma. Each of them uh, has their own range, okay? So we have the scale, we have the range, and also we have two more things that's very important the first one is the actual performance you can see that this dark bar that shoot through the range this is what we actually did all right and the target you see this red cross this is this, this tick mark showing uh our target performance of that certain range uh, sorry of that certain series all right, so uh, this is where we should land if we, if we cut across this, meaning that we exceed our target. All right, so if you look at this, this three items, you can see that all the items go beyond the target. All right, that's good, right? Now let's see how we prepare the data. If we go back here, you can see that we have high, mid, and low of the first item, the second item, and the third item. All right, so these are the uh this are uh, the information that we use to create our range data okay so our range look like a stack bar okay but we're not going to use stack bar we, we're going to use something else okay it, it's tricky and the actual data here is this dark area okay that's the actual the target here is our red tick here all right and the y is to govern our order. It's nothing more than that. It's just the, the, the y-axis to govern to show that the alpha gonna gonna show up here, the beta gonna show up here, and the gamma gonna show up here. Now let's see how we are going to go about and do this graph. Okay. So I'm gonna create the space here. I'm gonna create another another bullet here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to highlight this area and we are going to make a range first. So we go to insert and then we go to uh, a, a 2D cluster bar. All right. This doesn't really look like a stack bar. So we're going to sheet it. So the way to do it this is, is this. We click on one of the bar here. And then we go to this series option. Then series overlap, we're gonna change it to a hundred percent. And then this gap width, we're gonna change it to eighty. Make it a little, a little more thick. All right. Now this look great, but we are going to change the color. Okay, to make a range, to make it fade from the top to the bottom. So we go back to the view here, and we change the first one to the uh, this light gray, and then we change the second one to this, and the last one to the dark gray here. Maybe it's a little too dark, so let me change this one. Uh, all right, because it's too dark, then we cannot have our actual bar uh, shown on on the space. 
All right, so this is the first step. We don't need this chart title. We can add something else later. And we are going to uh, reverse the order of this. So let's go ahead and go to this access option and go down to category in reverse order. All right, now we are ready to, uh, to do further steps. Right now we are going to add the, uh, the target and the actual. This is a new trick that you're going to learn. Okay, the first thing we're going to add is we're going to add the, uh, the actual. So we highlight this actual rows and we highlight and we also press control and then highlight this y okay so that it would show up on the right location now uh, we click on okay this is important highlight this and then control c to copy and then click on the graph first okay you have to click on the graph object otherwise this is not going to work okay so click on the graph object and click on the paste and special why is this? Because if you don't click on the graph, you're not going to see this page special like this. So let, let me show you. If you don't click on the graph, because you have this too, and you don't click the graph yet, you click on paste. You have so many options, but you don't want that. You want to click on the graph, and then you click on paste special. And then make sure that you follow these steps. New series, rows, and then this two checkbox must be checked. Click on it. All right. Now you will see this Y showing up on the uh, on 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 the graph, but we're not gonna want it that way. So we are going to change the chart type, and we go down to this Y. We're gonna change it to uh, gathered plot. Okay, click OK. And Y is not really meaningful, so we're gonna change the data. Select the data and the Y here is the actual, right? So we better change it to actual. So click on this one as an actual. Click OK. So you can see that now the actual is actual. Okay, so the label is correct. Now we do another one, which is a target. Highlight the target, or you can highlight both because they are adjacent. And then click copy. Okay, press copy, control C, and then click on the object again, the graph object, and then go to paste, special. And same thing, new series, row, and check these two boxes. Click OK. All right, same fix from this Y, click on it. It's not really meaningful. We want to change it to target. So go ahead and change that. Uh, the Y here, we edit and change this to target. All right. Now we're almost there. The last bit of this, this graph is we are going to hack the error bar and make it look like a bullet. Okay. So let's see this one. This is the target. So it, this should be the red uh, tick. We're going to do this later. We're going to do the the actual first. The reason we do the actual first because the the later object that we do is gonna be on top. Okay, so we want the red tick to be on top. So we do that later. Now what we're gonna do is we click on this series. Make sure that you click all, which means click only one time. Right? Click only one time and click on this uh, chart elements and click on add error bar. Just click on it. Add the error bar. It's gonna look weird at first. Don't worry about it. You can go ahead to uh, uh, click on this Y error. Okay. Don't worry, you can, you can select all this by checking this uh, drop list. So uh, the X, we can need this one. We're not going to need the Y. Okay. So we can delete that light right away. Okay. So click on the Y and click somewhere, maybe on the title bar, and then delete it. You don't need it. Now let's go back and click on the X error bar of the actual series. All right, you are going to change this into the uh, the actual performance, which means the the smaller uh, bar that go from the beginning to this part. 
all right so we're gonna we're gonna do that by just clicking on the minus and then change this to percentage and then go from zero to hundred percent all right and no cap we don't need the cap we don't need that that tick mark all right and then if you move out you can see that we have this line go across from the beginning to the point of the actual which is great now what we can do next is we are going to make it a little thicker so uh go ahead and change that to maybe two point well maybe it's too small all right eight point and we're almost done we still have this marker which we don't really need okay, so you can go back and delete the marker from the series itself not the earlier bar okay the series itself just remove the marker now you have the actual bar pretty nice huh now we're going to do the same hack with this target okay but keep in mind that this one is the little red cross uh, it, it's little red uh, dash across this bar so how are we going to do that? We are going to do the same thing. Click on the earlier bar and you can have something really weird like this. Don't worry. Just go to the uh, select the earlier. You don't need the you don't need the horizontal. Now you need the vertical. Okay, so uh, for the horizontal, you can delete it right away and then just press delete. Okay, after you click on that item. And then for the uh, now for the target y area bar which is the one that go across here this is the one that we need okay no cap and then we're gonna change the fixed value to point two. look nice huh almost there right we're gonna make the line a little thicker so change this one to uh, two point and change the color to make it stand out to red color there almost same thing we have to remove the marker Okay, so click on the marker itself go back to the view and then click on the marker and then remove it there you have it okay now there's something that we don't really need we don't need this this scale so remove it we don't need this uh legend just remove the whole things this is our our bullet graph okay not so bad right well hope this helped until next time